And now a World News investigation. In past years, Dan Harris has been investigating the child sex trade around the world from Haiti to Cambodia. And tonight, he turns to reports about the Amazon, questions about fishing trips marketed as sporting adventures. He set out specifically to ask about trips to Central and South America. My producer and I put on hidden cameras and enter the Dallas Safari Club convention, where tour operators are selling top dollar hunting and fishing trips all over the world, with some promising great parties and beautiful women for a price. It's a third world country, so you can have whatever you want. Really? You know, it's just, it's just, but they're, they're, they're fine looking, good looking, they dress nicely, not your typical, you know, kind of, you know, kind of skanky looking thing. We've heard that on some of these types of tours, it's not just women you can hook up with, but also young girls. When we ask this tour operator about underage girls, at first he refuses. Nobody, nobody in Ivory is going to rank that. Don't, don't be floating that information on email. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, plus, don't plus, do I, don't even, I do don't even talk about it. But when I get him alone the next day, he changes his tune, telling me he knows a guy in Costa Rica who can make it happen. We'll float the idea that my guy is going to take care of this thing for you, and he he can get it done. I know he he can get that done. All right, let's go. But it's going to be probably. You know, it's going to have to be something real stupid, you know, stealthy, you know, or I don't know, and I, I'm not saying anything, it's something, it's something going to happen. Federal investigators are looking into possible child sex abuse on tours that take place throughout Central and South America and also Africa. Investigators are specifically looking into allegations made by Amazonian Indian girls as young as 13 who say employees for an American fishing tour operator came to their villages and offered them cleaning jobs, which they accepted because their families needed the money. Once on the boat, though, they say they were forced to pose in nude pictures and have sex. These girls, who didn't want their faces shown, say they were handed string bikinis and cocaine and also expected to have sex. I was forced to have relations with one of the men, says this girl, who was 16 at the time. In this sworn affidavit, another girl who was just 13 at the time says she was impregnated by an American whose name she didn't even know and that afterwards her family threw her out. Phil Marsteller, who operates fishing tours in Brazil, says abusing minors has become a cancer on the entire industry. What better way to, to get away from your wife and go have the Jekyll and Hyde personality and go do something else than going on a, on a fishing trip uh, to the Amazon that's you know viewed as family friendly. Because it sounds innocent. That's right. Marsteller has gathered pictures and video of what he says are underage girls cavorting with American men on board one of his competitors' boats. That competitor says it's all lies. But listen to what the tour operator I met in Dallas has to say about Marsteller. This is Dan Harris calling from ABC News. When we later called that tour operator we met on hidden camera in Dallas, he insisted he's never helped to provide young girls to anyone and never would have followed through on it with us. At one point in my hidden camera encounter with that tour operator in Dallas, things got a little dicey. He stopped the conversation, eyed me suspiciously, and asked whether I was an FBI agent. I was able to talk my way out of it, by, but Diane, it's a sign of how much anxiety this ongoing federal investigation is causing in the industry. Thank you, Dan. And if anyone wants to write, go to our website, abcnews.com, and write us more about Dan's investigation.